his conversation with my colleague Becky, where he begins to rant and play the victim. <laughs> I am surprised that Shatawali plays the victim most of the time when it comes across to some of us that he's the instigator of the fight. Mm-hmm. Do you think that that's also a strategy? He says Shatawali will always tell me that this is show business and he say he wants to be in the news every day. Now, to be in the news every day, you need to not just instigate, but you need to be forth, at the forefront of everything. Now, he, he, he wants to be talked about like we are talking about him now. So, uh, I mean, sometimes I get shocked when he says, oh, let's come together and do this. And the next moment, he's out there blasting everybody. You know, he'll tell you, Yo, this is the business I want to do. This is what we need to do. Okay. And, uh, you know, like the typical Ghanaians, we are, we are laid back people. We are peaceful people. You know, so anybody who goes the opposite direction, we see you as, so to say, mad. That's how can most people tag him as, as such. But, uh, you know, it's interesting when you hear Shata speak like that, that people are rather hating me and I'm this. And, but I think uh, he's, the, he's, the, he's the Omega. No, is it Omega? He's a Genesis. And sometimes I wonder who is the, uh, uh, what's the last book in the Bible? Revelation. Revelation. Mm, or Exodus. Genesis, it, I, I think. I think the beginning of what? it's the beginning of uh, most of these beefs in town. Okay, I mean, we all know how he came back. His return was with beef, mm-hmm. and he's it's, it's been beefing. I mean, he came through. He started beefing with Charterhouse, from Charterhouse to Samini, from Samini to Stone Boy. And I think with the Stone Boy beef, the reason why it is still in existence is because Stone Boy has not really come to reply him. Unlike Samini who replied him and he thought, okay, anyway, he replied and I'm bigger than I am. Sakodia replied him. Yes. But he goes out to say that Sakodia's career will go down the drain and any other I mean, I mean, that, that was some serious statement to Yes, made. I mean, he, he, he said a lot of ill, he made a lot of ill statements about the artist, which I was surprised. So I came onto social media, I mean, the same platform that people think I'm an SM fan to. to not to blast him, but to tell him to, to somehow put him right. That listen, you can't be attacking everybody, okay? Yes, you need these people to get to wherever you are going. I mean, you cannot go there alone, okay? Yes, you might have the fan base, but you see, when you go, when you step out of Ghana, everybody is seen as one, you know? So you cannot be here and be barking and be attacking everybody. You, you, you might have, uh, you see, we all cannot use the same route to success. Okay, you can be dirty, you can be anything you want to be, but somebody chooses to be positive, right, cool, calm, like Sarkodie. Now, Sarkodie believes that, okay, the best way for him to build his brand and for him to, be, to sustain his brand is to, is to keep calm, is to, you know, the only time you hear Sarkodie is probably to make him uh, comment on, uh, these days I realize he makes a lot of social comments and, you know, music and let me help this person, let this person come, let's record in that. And that's how come he's been able to build his brand to the next extent. But what in the other case thinks no. I mean the industry is too door. Let me put in some heat. Then he goes to he does Facebook Live or any platform he gets, he attacks everybody. And not everybody is cool with that. You know, I think when he was on radio uh, insulting everybody, even his fans were disappointed. Yeah, some of his fans were disappointed. But a strategy worked if it was one. Uh, yeah, it, it works. On yeah, yeah, you see, it works for him. I mean, I keep telling people that uh, controversies don't always work for everybody. He's lucky that these things are working for him. You get me? But in other parts, it wouldn't work for him. Uh, in other cases, it will go against him because there are certain brands that wouldn't come in for you. You know, there are certain brands that wouldn't come in for you because they will ask themselves questions. I mean, every brand has its own uh, value. And if I look at my brand, and yes, you might have the numbers, but are you worth my brand? You know, so we need to be very considerate in all these things. So the young artists, I will tell you, Shatawale is not the best example to every young artist. You might like some things he does. But I think he makes the negative vibe more than the positive. So most people don't want to. Uh, it isn't that people don't want like his music. It is the attitude that most people complain about, you know. But hey, this is the same attitude that puts food on his table. You know, this is the same attitude that keeps him winning. You understand? But they will. 
Some way. Do you think he's a problem with the handlers, or is the human being himself? No, it's with himself. It with himself. Uh, I mean, I know people that handle Shatawale, you know. But they say the Shatawale that we know outside is not the Shatawale inside. You know, when he sits at uh, home in Shatawale, he's, he's a different kind of guy. He's a loving, he's a fun guy. He's, uh, he's a guy that we like to spend days. I know. You only get to know his music and get to see what he puts, what he puts out, out there. there. But yeah. what is preventing Shatawale? He's now, we, if we ever doubt it, mm -hmm. now we know that this is a huge brand in Ghana. Yes, he has the numbers. What do you think is denying Shatawale the international appeal? Uh, well, when he speaks to Shatawale, he will tell you that, listen, there's one particular song that is going to take me out there. And it's yeah. a green album? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No, he, that's what he says. He says, "Listen, it isn't that I don't want to go international. It isn't that I'm n I don't want to move. I want to move, but he said when the time comes, it's one particular song that will take you to the world. That is his belief. Okay. And when is that time? Uh, it could be on the rain. It could be any of the songs on the rain album, and probably his next act, line of action. Uh, fortunately for him, he will be in the UK soon to perform. Uh, uh, I think the UK and Amsterdam, uh, UK, Amsterdam and all that. So, uh, he says you go. I mean, you go international, not just going out there to perform to the Ghanaian crowd. You know, most of the times, uh, we, we tend to call anybody who performs outside the shows of Ghana an international artist. But usually, most of our artists do perform for the Ghanaian communities, you know. So, which, uh, but he, with him, he, say, he keeps saying, I mean, if, if you're to meet him today, we'll tell you that there's a song coming that will take him international, and that is the moment he's waiting for.